What's up everybody? Welcome back to Vince's Dolphin Channel. Got a couple things listed last night and we got a couple things going out today. So we're pretty happy about that. But I thought I'd just cover a couple things that might help you out a little bit as far as shipping goes. So if it's a little tough at first to know exactly what to do. So maybe stick to items that you know how to ship so you don't have to stress about it and you can slowly learn the process. So what I've done is stuff the stuff that's under one pound as much as possible. And something we got going out today is something my wife picked up for me. It's not a big profit. I think we sold it for 12 bucks with free shipping and we got it for under three. So, you know, we try to stay away from them kind of lower uh, profit ones, but it's real quick, easy to throw in a poly. I like doing clothing like that, especially if you can pick it up at the right price and especially if it can go for $20, $30. Slides right into your poly. Highly suggest picking up some of these. Might be a good way to get some quick feedback to help your uh, eBay reviews a little bit. Get some positive feedback on the buying side. It doesn't always have to be on the selling side, so that might be a little tip for you. And then anything under a pound in a poly or in a little box like this, a lightweight box. This works real good. This is an eight by six by four, and you can do your hats and that kind of stuff in something like this. And it's gonna keep it secure from pressing down and ruining the hat or anything like that, that you're worried about it breaking. Um, you can go crazy with the bubble wrap. Highly suggest packaging your products the right way, letting your customer know. It's one of the ways that you can let your customer know that you care about their item. You know, there's not much, you're not talking to them in person, so get that item to them safely. Don't go cheap on bubble wrap, tape, boxes, that kind of stuff. A little bit of money goes a long way as far as your customer service goes right there. And then I want to talk about another option for you, because if we're brand new here, we're learning shipping, let's not worry about it. Look, we got lots of options, and we'll learn slow and get going. So not only can you buy anything under a pound that's going to fit in a lightweight packaging material that you can pick up on eBay like that or Amazon if it's cheaper for you and you're not worried about the reviews, but you can ship anything that's super heavy in a flat rate shipping box. So something I sell a lot of is weights right now with the gym shut down, a lot of weights is a good product. You can do your research on that. But anything that's going to fit into these medium and large flat rate boxes as far as weights goes, or anything that's super heavy that's got some profit on it, you can anything that fits in one of these up to 70 pounds US, I think it's 20 pounds international, so just be careful with that, you know, make sure you don't have global shipping clicked on a 50 pound weight, for example. But so now that covers anything under one pound. We don't have to worry about because that's going to go first class, real cheap shipping in our polys or in the box here. But also anything super heavy that's not crazy big. You also know how to do that the best way flat rate shipping box. So there is a little bit in between. A lot of times it might be uh, cheaper to use FedEx or UPS if you're somewhere between that three pounds and. A super heavy item so you can that's where you got your learning curve and you can do your research there as you go you'll use your eBay shipping tool when you're posting your items um, to really check that out and compare your prices and see which way it's gonna be better for you to list it and that's how you learn as you go compare your FedEx to your priority mail to your UPS and uh, you'll see which you can kind of learn as you go on that stuff just be careful not to list stuff unless you have it all weighed if you have the unless you have the box for it because what will happen is that item will sell and you'll be scrambling to find a box let me show you an example because i'm still kind of new so that's one of my newer learning lessons and uh, that really bit me be very careful with that on the global shipping program because what happened to me was i didn't have my dimensions perfect on something that I had global shipping on and uh, of course by the time I boxed it up it was a little bit bigger now the person had already paid for shipping on the dimensions that was listed so if you're gonna use global shipping it really amplifies the fact that you need to have your measurements and your weights correct and already have your box ready maybe even have your item boxed up and labeled with the corresponding uh, SKU on your eBay listing 
But something that can happen if you don't have your box already pre-done is you might end up like this. Now this is going to work for me, but I'm going to have to measure this side so I have an equal distance over here. Score this, fold this box up, I'll cut the slats where I need to, and fold that over. Now luckily I had something perfect to make a box for these, but I could have gotten in trouble with that. And uh, I did know that and I didn't cover it cover my you know what as far as that goes on that because of the global shipping lesson so that and uh, one other set of movies is my only things right now that I'm not officially ready to ship out with the box the everything so just do that step get ahead of the game because you don't want to put stress on you that you don't need to have so just make sure you got your box make sure you uh, account for your shipping your um your bubble wrap, your paper to go around the edge, anything like that when you list it. Go ahead and list a little heavy, um, maybe even add a couple ounces as long as it's not messing in with your uh, shipping price. Go ahead and give yourself that leeway. If it isn't going to change your price, you might need to get it prepackaged and get an exact weight at that point, just if, you know, instead of paying the extra 50 cents. But that's up to you on that. Just I would recommend adding an inch or adding a couple ounces in most cases just to be careful with your shipping especially if you're using that global shipping program because that's going to amplify any mistakes and you don't want that to be on the on the end buyer because what could happen is you could get a bad review from that if the buyer has already paid you know sometimes a good amount of global shipping program and then you're adding another three dollars another five dollars because you didn't have your measurements correct that could get charged to the final buyer and that could definitely get you a bad review if they've already paid and now they're paying an extra five bucks to get their item. So, and that can happen locally too, maybe not with uh, such extreme numbers, but just be careful. Uh, make sure you got your weights, everything done, your boxes, everything ready, your dimensions all ready when you set your ads. You already know how now to do your very cheap under a pound first class items in a poly or box and you can comfortably ship anything real heavy. And uh, real quick, throw it in at the end, a little quick tip before we go. I don't know if you noticed, that was medium mail. So if you have your own box, make sure you cover any uh, labels that you don't want showing if you're reusing a box. This can go medium mail, and that's I believe 286 a pound, plus maybe 50 cents a pound after that. So this gotta be the cheapest way to ship. It does go a little bit slower, but if you have your own box, you can do media mail on uh, movies and tapes, CDs, that kind of stuff. So I hope you got a little something out of that shipping today. Seeing a couple good items that are going out. A little bit on the lower end. We just posted some real high dollar stuff. Just posted, uh, uh, I think, 80 bucks for a leather coat here and another one for 90 and then our prop, this one will probably go in uh, 1085. It's around three pounds, I think. So we'll compare the prices. It will fit in a medium flat rate. So we'll compare the prices. And then uh, the other one's going to be going in, I believe, a large flat rate box. It was super heavy leather coat, but real nice, high quality. So I uh, hope you got something out of that. hope you like that fire we're throwing up on Vintage Dolphin Channel. Remember to like, subscribe, keep checking in. We got all kinds of business strategies on the mind coming out. We'll talk with you, kind of show you where we're going. I got money on the mind, baby. I think you will like it. Stick with us, subscribe, like, share this one around. Vintage Dolphin Channel, baby. Peace!